Chances are you've seen stray cats where you live, maybe a neighbor is even feeding them. Well, to try and curb the overwhelming number of free roaming cats in southern Nevada, an approach called TNR has been used for more than a decade. Now, TNR stands for Trap, Neuter, Return. Tonight, we're going to show you an army of volunteers who are trying to help, but there are so many cats, one describes it as drinking water from a fire hose. Uh, can in the morning and can at night. Mike Nolden hates to see an animal go hungry. I'm up to about $200 a month in cat food. So he started feeding a few kittens about five years ago. We got up to uh, about 40 cats or 30, maybe 35 cats. I can't keep track of them. The cat colony, like many others, can double, triple in size. In fact, it's estimated there are more than 200,000 free-roaming cats in the Las Vegas Valley. Nolden finally found a group called C5 and got help. This year we're trapping uh, about 6,000 cats. The Community Cat Coalition of Clark County, or C5, was founded by Keith Williams back in 2009. That year, more than 18,000 cats were put down at our local shelter. And if you calculate that out as to how many hours there are in the day, it was like one every six minutes it was being euthanized. Through an ambitious program of trap, neuter, return, or TNR, those numbers have dwindled. And now it's, it's less than 2,000 a year. The key is sterilizing every cat in a colony. But first, you've got to catch them. That's where veteran trappers like Krista Everhart come in. I equate it to like fishing because you set your bait and you wait. I'm probably better than the average fisherman because <laughs> I catch a lot of cats. <laughs> this is an all volunteer, roll up your sleeves, deep in the trenches kind of work. On any given day, there could be up to 80 cats in this room in various stages of the program. Some are waiting to go to the clinic, others have already been and are now waiting to be returned. That clinic is here at Heaven Can Wait. The nonprofit runs a low cost veterinary hospital where personal pets and hundreds of free roaming cats are altered every week. This is carried out on an industrial scale. We examine them, we sterilize them, providing spay or neuter surgeries. We vaccinate them, we scan them for microchips. Then an ear is clipped. See how it's flat on the top? Well, that identifies them as part of a controlled colony. When cats are spayed or neutered, there's less roaming, there's less fighting, there's less spraying. And it also means much less of a burden on shelters and rescues uh, who are often inundated with thousands of kittens annually. Oh, that's so cute. Working together, these two organizations are on track to alter 7,000 cats this year. But both admit that's barely scratching the surface. If we could do 10,000 a year for a few years, the shelter would largely be out of the stray cat business. But with the Animal Foundation's capacity issues and discouraging surrenders, the TNR program there is fairly flat. In fact, year over year, it hovers around 2,000 cats. It's certainly an uphill battle, and the cats are winning. You know, like every rescue, we're exhausted and going broke, and uh, people to do the, do the legwork. More people like Everhart, who, after a couple of days of observation, is now returning these patients to the field. We had 10 last night and 14 more today. They may not be owned pets, but that doesn't mean that these these cats don't mean something to somebody. Now, through the Animal Foundation and C5, there is no cost to the public to have cats altered. The trappers in our story work for free. They spend a lot of time in the field, so volunteers and donations are desperately needed. Heaven Can Wait, by the way, does run a full-service low-cost clinic, so if your pet needs a visit, they can help.